I've just got home and we have tripped over 1,000 miles since we picked this car up and we've done quite a bit more mileage than usual. Kids been off school and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, we've done 1,000 miles. We've averaged 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. I just want to show you what that equates to, how much we've saved compared to our old diesel vehicle in both pounds and pence and also in carbon emissions. So over to the spreadsheet. So what have we learned after a thousand miles apart from my wife and I already knew that we preferred driving EVs due to their quiet, smooth, rapid progress that they can make and we expected much lower running costs as well as saving a lot on our carbon emissions but let's look into some of the figures that we've actually achieved. Okay, number one. So this is a little screenshot on the right hand side of the screen. You can see the MG5. It shows what I, I snapped with my uh, camera as I got home 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour 1000 miles and on the left hand side you can see what I've tracked in our previous car and this is spread over nearly 43,000 miles of driving and you can see that our average MPG is 41.3 miles per gallon you can see the average price we've paid which actually is the current price right now and you can see our total spend on diesel in this particular car but that let's get into more of the cost comparison so here you go over a thousand miles i've broke down um, both the SEAT and the mg and you know that our average mpg and our average miles per kilowatt hour 4.3 and 41.3 respectively and so to cover that 1000 miles we would have needed 110 liters of diesel and we would have needed 232 kilowatt hours of electricity and the current fuel prices are one pound 44.9 uh, for the diesel at our local place that we go to not the most expensive by far and we have been charging our car at an average cost of nine pence per kilowatt hour that has been achieved by using octopus agile and just charging during the cheap periods and a couple of times i've charged using our solar which has brought the average up i actually did get nearly a full charge on the negative rates on agile where octopus are effectively paying us to charge our car so if you're interested in that i'll leave a link in the description and you can sign up to octopus and octopus energy you'll get 50 pounds i'll get 50 pounds if you do decide to follow that link anyway this brings us to the total cost the total cost is 20 pounds and 88 pence for the mg5 to cover 1000 miles and 159 pounds 39 pence for the say alhambra quite a big there's quite a disparity there so let's let's keep digging a little bit further we know electric cars are a little bit cheaper to run but let's have a look at everything else if we multiply that up over the year well it depends i just multiplied it up to ten thousand miles you can adjust this for your mileage but the cost in the alhambra will be nearly 1600 pounds and the mg is just over 200 pounds so you can see that the alhambra at these particular rates is eight times more expensive to fuel than the mg5 is that doesn't account for the extra servicing the extra wear and tear on brakes the oil changes everything else that we incur with the alhambra um, but let's keep moving on anyway so i've had to work out a little bit of a correction factor and you'll see why in the next slide but basically the manufacturer claimed mpg of the alhambra is 49.6 our real world mpg is 41.3 so on a very very gentle good run you can get over 50 mpg from the alhambra and we've done that a couple of times on a couple of tanks long trips and stuff but in the real world you're ne never getting anywhere near that the mg5 in contrast on the wltp cycle the man the claim by the testing is 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour and our real world so far is 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour now of course we've had ideal conditions it's been summer it's been warm we haven't done many high speed long distance trips or anything like that but as you can see the Seat Alhambra is underperforming by 16.6 percent whereas the MG5 is overperforming by nearly 20 percent okay let's keep it moving let's keep this video snappy so with these correction factors the MG5 one is irrelevant as you'll find out so on the um on the uh, manufactured data, it says that the Sayat Alhambra emits 149 grams of CO2 or CO2 grams of CO2 per kilometer. Um, 
And of course, the MG5 is listed as zero. And that can be controversial because it's not talking about the whole cycle of energy. But also, this one uh, doesn't account for all of the CO2 that is emitted during the refining process and transporting process of petrol and diesel. So actually, this is very pessimistic. In the real world, the say Alhambra is emitting a lot more not just because if i put in the correction factor of 16.6 percent really it's 174 grams of co2 per kilometer and that multiplies up to 280 grams or 2800 kilograms if we were to factor in um, diesel refining costs diesel transport costs in terms of the carbon cost anyway the emissions um this would be at least another 25% on top of what I've already put here. But I'm trying to give the diesel car the absolute best shot at fighting against the electric car. And you'll see this below. So I've attributed to the MG5 100 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour. Now, I've looked at the Octopus Agile times that I was charging on and the the um the emissions the grid emissions during that time were very much much lower the the grid was very clean during that time as well as if i was charging off of solar there's barely any emissions that you can attribute to that you can talk about uh, energy offsetting by exporting the energy into the grid instead but anyway i mean without getting too much into the weeds of it i've been as pessimistic as I can to the MG5 and I've been as optimistic as I can to the Seat Alhambra and you can still see the difference is more than tenfold. 232 kilograms of CO2 attributed to the MG5 and 2,800 kilograms attributed to the Alhambra. That is an absolute best case scenario for the Alhambra and an absolute worst case for the MG5. Let's keep moving on as a little bit of conclusion to wrap up this video and try and keep this well under 10 minutes for you over 1000 miles the financial cost is 159 pounds to 21 pounds it's such a massive difference but the carbon cost is even greater as you can see the red bars are the say alhambra the green bars are the mg and on the right hand side the carbon that's in kilograms 23 and 280 on the left hand side that's in pounds sterling 21 pounds to 159 pounds so just forgetting the overall experience of having a quieter, more peaceful, smoother vehicle um, that is more refined and that is quicker and nicer to drive in just about every conceivable way, apart from the kids arguing in the back seat because it's not as spacious and the boot being a bit of a compromise for such a large family, we make it work the uh, benefits massively outweigh the negatives and uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you've made it this far you definitely want to give us a thumbs up and maybe you want to share this video with someone who is on the fence about electric cars and thinking about it and maybe they'll make the jump seeing that they can save a huge amount of money financially and they can save a huge amount on their carbon emissions once again, thank you for watching and join me for another one in the future.